Good day, folks. It's Tony from The Tech Firm. I'm going to show you a cool little utility you might find helpful. I've done this with Nmap in the past. Some corporations I go to have issues uh, installing Nmap. It's not allowed, that kind of thing. So this is a simple command line utility. You don't have to install. It's portable. You just unzip it and you're good to go. So it's from um, GitHub. And this gentleman, I'm going to try his name. And I apologize if you watch this video. Puria Jamshidi. The last name I think I got. The first name I'm not too sure. It's TC Ping. Now I keep typing TCP Ping because that's another popular utility. So he's intentionally put TC Ping to kind of avoid confusion, which I think is a great idea, but <laughs> I still keep typing TCP Ping. Uh, but we're going to run through it real quick and I'll show you some tips and tricks with it. So TC Ping, enter. It will show you all the options that you can use. I'm going to simply do google.com. It didn't like it. Why? Because if you actually read, it says you have to provide a port number. All right. So we'll do port 80. That should work, right? And it did. Why? Because it's using IPv6, right? So I'm going to change this, put a dash for, which is consistent with some Microsoft networking commands, and it forces it to use IPv4, and that works. So there we go. Uh, the other thing, Actually, you know what? Let's run for a second. So the other thing that's kind of cool about this tool is uh, it does a dash P or just doesn't time out. It pings forever. Uh, kind of, it's kind of helpful because you don't have to remember to do that. Because a lot of times with ping, you have to remember to do dash T. This you don't. So to stop this, you do a control C to stop it. But here's the thing. If I just press enter right now while it's still pinging, it gives me those stats up until that point. Uh, now, here's the thing, though. If I press enter again, this is still cumulative, so it's from the beginning of the first one, but it's it's a neat way to keep, get stats ahead of time. That's that. Now, I want to show you what happens when it doesn't work. So I'm going to go to, here, you know what? I'll do this first. 300, and um, a lot of firewalls and or servers will reply to these, even though you can't do much with it. And I don't know why, it's just something that they do. So this is still working at 300, but now I'm going to add a zero to it. I'm going to do uh, 3,000, and it's still working. See that? And I'm going to add one more zero. Watch this, 30,000. And now, it doesn't work. So you have to understand a little bit about your architecture, your servers, your firewalls, what ports are allowed through, which ones aren't. Is there a range that goes off on another path, that kind of stuff. You need to know that kind of stuff about the target to better understand what the results are telling you. Get rid of that. Another cool option to use is dash uppercase D as in Delta. And what that does, actually, you know what? Let me actually pick a port that's going to work. So it looks a little more helpful. There we go. It provides the date and the time. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I've already provided some feedback um, to Mr. Ramshidi asking if he can provide an option to output this to a file. And the reason for that is he supports JSON right now. He supports SQL Lite right now, which is which is great. Uh, but I just want a CSV file. I just want the text right? because a lot of times I want to bring it into Excel or I want to do something else with it. Um, and it'd be nice to have this in a text format. Now, one thing people always ask me is, well, just do the do the, the good old redirect uh, test dot text, for example, let it rip. Now, I want to show you why some uh, utilities this does not work with, right? This is one of them. So I'm going to just break out of this for a moment. I'm going to go into my test.txt file that we just created. And you can see the dates are all mangled up. All right. So it's not easily readable at points. This part is, but you don't want to have to go, go through it like that and, and try to figure out are they ASCII characters and what's going on and that kind of stuff. So hopefully um, he'll add that to the utility if he does great. And if not, it's still a great tool. I strongly encourage you to play with it, use it in your environment. And it's better than just using a regular ping with ICMP. This is actually using TCP. So have a good day. Bye for now. Oh, and I'll include the link in the article.